Puzzle Pirates, the free-to-play MMO from Free Rings, which advocates the unholy union between pirates and puzzles. However, this is not an MMO in the traditional sense. There's no levelling up, no fetching useless items for brain-dead NPCs, and no combat. Well, strictly speaking, that isn't true. There is combat. It just takes the form of a puzzle. Yes, in the world of Puzzle Pirates, everything is some kind of puzzle or minigame, but that goes without saying, really. When the tutorial is over, the game tells you to join voyages that are organised by other players. Once you join a voyage, you must then play a minigame to help to keep the ship running. You play the same minigame over and over again, and you'll be paid at the end. Yes, perform a repetitive task for hours on end and receive a small amount of money for your efforts. It's like you never left the office. There are four puzzles which you will spend the majority of your time doing. Bilging, carpentry, sailing and rigging. Naturally, I am shit at all of them. I managed to keep it together doing the rigging puzzle, so I spent all my time doing that. But don't get too comfortable, the ship you're so dutifully maintaining will eventually be attacked by NPC pirates. Yeah, this is where the game really steps it up a notch, as you'll be forced to enter combat. And by combat, I mean another puzzle. Oh, it is important to note that every puzzle in this game has been ripped off from other, more tolerable puzzle games, so nothing here is really new. Or fun. So after playing this game for a while, I quickly found myself bored. One can only be entertained by the random name generator for NPC pirates for so long. I looked around on the internet and found out the aim of the game is to raise enough money until you can buy your own ship, start your own crew, then recruit others to maintain your ship for you. Fuck that noise, I thought to myself. The thought of playing another puzzle made me want to throw up. But after playing around with the word filter and generally dicking around, I found out this game has one more thing to offer, and that is the parlor game. The parlor games are essentially just card games. There's poker, hearts, spades, and a bunch of other stuff I don't know how to play. It seemed fun enough, so I wanted to try it out. But because this is a free-to-play game, you have to pay real money for the privilege of pissing away your virtual money in the virtual casino. After buying my way in, the only thing I ever did from then on was play poker. You can actually make quite a bit of money from this, provided you know what you're doing, unlike me. And if you end up going all in on a pair of twos and losing all your money like some kind of retard, not that I ever did that, <coughs> and you can always go on another boring voyage to earn money for your next poker fix. However, Puzzle Pirates is an MMO, so there's still a ton of content that I didn't have the patience to do. There are sea monster battles, PvP and treasure hunting, among others, but I can only assume they all take the form of another boring puzzle. The islands and shops are all player-owned, which takes a monumental amount of grinding to achieve. There isn't really much appeal to this game, unless you like throwing virtual currency down the drain. However, if you're big on pirates and enjoy being bored, then this is the game for you.